speaking. So we we ranted a little bit last uh, show two weeks ago um, about some options for Express LRS. We talked about yeah. how there's inver inversion on cheap FCs or FCs that don't do proper uh, UART mapping and stuff or don't have enough room. And boy, that was really frustrating. And uh, well, wouldn't you know it? Six literally six days later. We got a new uh, 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 pull request in Express LRS, and it was accepted into the main branch already. Um, uh, basically, there is inversion support for the RX pad. So yeah. the, the TX coming from the receiver to the RX pad. Now, if that RX is inverted, you can select that, and it's all good to go. So basically, yeah. it's inverting that crossfire just on the CRSF just on that one wire. And it's, uh, so cool. we didn't quite get exactly what we asked for. We asked for... Can an Express LRS receiver output S bus so that people who have a flight controller, like a tiny whip flight controller with only an S bus input, can use Express LRS? And the Express LRS dev said that would be very difficult. We are very heavily tied into Crossfire internally. You, you, you YouTubers with your silly demands, you don't understand how hard this is for us as developers. And then one of them went, well, you know, actually, we could just output inverted Crossfire if we just flip this bit over here. Uh, it wouldn't actually be that hard. And then he did it in six days. And I feel like that sets a very bad precedent. <laughs> I even because, told him that. I'm like, be careful. <laughs> because what I take from this is if I whine loudly, they will complain and tell me they can't do it. And then they'll do it. I, I don't think and that's so, a good... I, I express all our steps. He should have made it at least be three weeks. <laughs> and just a quick um, just a quick aside on this, this is currently only the ESP receivers. So any of the STM receivers, I don't believe, support the inversion in the same way. But yeah. any of your ESP receivers should be able to do this with just the new That's update. That's what you should be using anyway, right? Yes. Pretty yeah. much. The, the EP receivers, for instance, the FlyWoo or Happy Model EP receivers. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, so that's actually kind of cool because one of the things the Express LRS dev said that I do agree with is that S bus is shitty and should die. Uh, and they, they were like, we don't want to like encourage people to be using S bus. And I was like, yes, but these flight controllers have an S bus pad and it cannot work with any other protocol because it's inverted. And they were like, well, actually, what if we just inverted crossfire and then you could do crossfire on the, on the S bus pad. And I'm like, oh, that's better. Cause now yeah. we don't have to use shitty S bus. We're using crossfire. And and it only inverts the one wire, so you can still use telemetry on the normal TX pad. So you can sort of do your inverted RX, your normal TX on the same UR. Good mm -hmm. to go. It's really, and thank you to Bry. Captain, Captain, Captain Bry. Bry. Yeah. yeah, he was the one who did most of the work. Thank you to him uh, for doing that. So um, now uh, I just, I, now that that's done, I just want to move on to the next thing I'm going to complain about and demand. Because, you know, that's how it is, right? <laughs> but I don't know what that is. PWM output. Express LRS devs. Can we have PWM outputs? How hard could it be? Jeez. <laughs> Six days later. <laughs> All right. All right. Moving on. So, uh, there, just real quick, I will mention, there is a solution that I believe Bri also worked on for, uh, it's called, I think, Servo to PWM, and then you do something with CRSF to Servo. There's like a certain tool set thing you can do. Um, if you go to ask on the Express LRS Discord, they can help you with that. Oh, okay. And you know what else right. I want? As long as, hold on. The other thing <laughs> I want is I want like a basic eight channel mode or even a six channel mode with full servo support. Or I just want to go down to 50 hertz with full servo support so that I have the option. That's the other, those are the two things that, the next two things I want from Express LRS is eight channels, let's say eight minimum eight channels with full support and just drop the drop the packet. Because if I'm flying a plane with servos, I don't need 500 hertz. I don't need two millisecond latency. I don't care. So just give me 50 hertz with full resolution channels. That's number one. And number two, we need a receiver with PWM output. So, so Bryce says in the Discord, uh, he actually has the outputs working. He just needs hardware. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, driving the development forward. <laughs> I am I am the middleman between the users. See, that's that's the, that's what the devs need. You know that scene in Office Space where where he's like, "So what do you do here?" And he's like, "Well, I take the requirements from the users to the developers." And he says, "Why don't the users just talk to the developers?" I'm that guy. The developers <laughs> are over on their Discord server. They're like, "Hey guys, what do you think we should do?" And they're all nerding out over there. And then my inbox is full of people going, yeah, this Express LRS thing is all right, but I can't use it with my servos. What's that up with? 
And I'm like, hold on, let me go to the developers. <laughs> <laughs> all right all, all right. right thank you bry uh express Solaris is going to be really good pretty soon it's getting there it's really getting there i think it's already pretty good <laughs> ah, some would say 